It is probable that people still have virtues, although they are probably not as simple as the virtues held by our grandfathers. By Pamela Mortimer. Europeans of the 20th century have a dangerous curiosity, multiplicity, and possess the art of disguises. If new virtues exist, they will be virtues that directly relate to one's most secret inclinations and ardent needs. Modern men are determined, due to the complicated mechanics of different moralities. Their actions shine in different colors. Nietzsche states that in order to love one's enemies, one must also learn to despise them at the same time. This is done thousands of times every day, in both, big ways and small. Beware of those who give great value to moral tact and subtlety. They are the ones who will not forgive us if we have observed a mistake in their behavior. Blessed are the forgetful, for they get over their stupidities, too. French psychologists have not exhausted their bitter delight over bourgeois stupidity. Moral judgments and condemnations are the favorite revenge of those who have limited spirituality against those who are less limited. The philosopher has developed a strange behavior in which he attempts to act disinterested in the average man. However, the philosopher often hides that the uninteresting is in fact, exceedingly interesting. Nietzsche asserts that love is not an egoistic. Anyone who makes sacrifices must know that he has wanted and received something in return. Nietzsche refers to a moralistic pedant when he states that a person in command must not commit self-denial and self-effacement. To do so would not be a virtue, rather it would be a waste of a virtue. Although these thoughts are clearly Nietzsche's, the author obviously felt that it would be considered self-righteous to be so precisely correct. The new European is a hybrid that requires a costume. Yet one is unable to find a costume that fits well. Therefore one changes costumes at will. By costumes, Nietzsche means morality, faith, artistic taste, and religion. Historically speaking, the modern European has brought about a mad semi-barbarism through the mixture of class and race. While this combination creates chaos, it also contributes to developing a modern soul. Man still retains virtues that one cannot deny, we are unpretentious, selfless, modest courageous, full of self-overcoming, full of devotion, very grateful, very patient, very accommodating. But for all that we are perhaps not paragons of good taste. Regardless of the positive or negative virtue, man tends to divide everything into pleasure and pain. Is suffering a discipline? Through suffering, the Creator and its creature are united. Men of duty are concerned by the world where fear and love both exist. One is torn between dancing between chains and swords and we are often faced with dolts, who are men without duty. Honesty is a virtue from which we cannot escape. It may be the one virtue that will allow us to perfect ourselves as free spirits. Nietzsche believes that it is important for morality to be thought about by few people, and that it is important that morality should not become interesting. There is an internal war when man attempts to approach morality from a scientific angle. After all, isn't a moral philosopher the complete opposite of a Puritan?